lively too today with Run for Free, the early leader, 9-4 to four to Jajami as they jumped off, incidentally. Run for Free, the leader from Antonin, with Gambling Royal on the outside, and then Jajami and King of the Gales, and finally Zeta's Lad. Over the far side, and racing towards the first of the 18 fences, these winners of 66 races between them, and Run for Free, the leader from Antonin and Gambling Royal, and Jajami and King of the Dales, and Zeta's Lad. So at the first, Run for Free. And Mark Perrett from Antony. They all jump it well. The first ditch will be number five, coming to number two, and it's run for free from Antony and Gambling Royal and Jadami and King of the Gales and Zeta's Lad. And run for free has opened up quite a substantial lead already. Run for free from Antonin and Gambling Royal and Jadami and King of the Gales on the inside and Zeta's Lad on the outer. Not quite such a good jump by King of the Gales at that one. Got to adjust to these uh, English fences. To run for free. Comes to the fourth. Clear. Of Antonin and Gambling Royal, Jadami and King of the Gales and Zeta's Lad. And now the first of the ditches. Run for free. From Antonin on the inside of Gambling Royal. Then Jadami, Zeta's Lad and King of the Gales. Side, King of the Gales, run for free, beginning this swing out of the back stretch with a lead of a good uh, six lengths over Gambling Royal. Beginning the turn in now, uh, Gambling Royal and Jodami next, followed by Antonin, King of the Gales, and Zeta's Lad. Run for free comes down to number six. Jumps it clear of Gambling Royal, Jadami, King of the Gales, Antonin, and Zeta's Lad. Three times a course winner, this leader, having his first race after a long layoff. Run for free from Gambling Royal and Jodami. Zeta's Lad jumped it fourth, and King of the Gales uh, dropped back to last there. Coming down to another plain fence before the second of the ditches, which will be number nine, and run for free. The leader from Gambling Royal and Jodami. Then Zeta's Lad, Antonin and King of the Gales. Now the second of the ditches. Run for free from Gambling Royal, Jodami, Zeta's Lad, King of the Gales, and Antonin. Now the water, number 10 of the 18 fences. Run for free. Not jumping to the left as much as he usually does. Jumps that nice and straight. Gambling Royal jumped its second, and Jodami third. Four Zeta's Lad, five Antonin, and six King of the Gales. So another complete circuit now in this Peter Marsh chase, which has signposted three Gold Cup winners in the past. And run for free the leader from Gambling Royal, Jadami going well on the inside, then Antonin, Zeta's Lad, and King of the Gales. Coming to the first on the far side. Run for free. about two and a half lengths to three lengths of Gambling Royal and Jodami, Antonin and Zeta's Laird and King of the Gales. Run for free. Jumps the next very fast and well. And a mistake there by King of the Gales and uh, Charlie Swan did well to stay with him then. Run for free, clear. Of Gambling Royal and Jodami and Zeta's Laird. King of the Gales and Antonin. This is the last plain one before the final ditch. Run for free. Gambling Royal and Jodami. King of the Gales, Zeta's Lad and Antonin. And now the final ditch with Run for Free. The clear leader at it. Jadami moves into second, Zeta's Lad third, Gambling Royal, 
and then comes King of the Gales and finally Anthony in as they begin the turn into the home straight now with three fences left to jump in the Peter Marsh and run for free. The clear leader from Jadami in second. In third is Zeta's Lad. Four is King of the Gales. This is the third last. Run for free. And Mark Perrett from Jadami and Mark Dwar. Then Zeta's Lad and King of the Gales has gone there. Made a very bad mistake. Unshipped Charlie Swan at the third last. Coming down to the second last fence now. And it's run for free from Zeta's Lad moving into second ahead of Jadami. Run for free at the second last from Zeta's Lad. Still running strongly. Run for free jumps out to the left a bit there. And Zeta's Lad running very strongly indeed as they come down to the final fence. Run for free, being pressed by Zeta's Lad, then Jadami, these three at the last fence now. Run for free from Zeta's Lad, run for free. Lands just ahead of Zeta's Lad, but Zeta's Lad putting in a run towards the near side. Run for free over on the far side. Jadami back in third. It's run for free from Zeta's Lad as they race into the final 150 yards. Run for free, drifting over to the far side. Zeta's Lad coming now strongly on the near side. Run for free on the far side, Zeta's Lad on the near side, Zeta's Lad has come to take it up as they race towards the line and Zeta's Lad on the near side, run for free on the far side, it's going to be close Zeta's Lad and run for free in a photo run for free and Zeta's Lad, it's a photo between them, run for free, may have just held on over on the far side, Zeta's Lad on the near side Jadami back in third and four came Anthony in and five was Gambling Royal officially, it's a photo at the end of the Peter Marsh and a close photo indeed between uh, Number two, Run for Free, owned by Mrs. Millicent Freethy, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Mark Perrett. And number three, Zeta's Lad, owned by Mr. Andrew L. Cohen, trained by John Upson and written by Robbie Supple. With third, the 1993 Gold Cup winner, Jadami. A close photo here spread right across the course, these two. Both the big ones have come out covered in glory here, and so is Zeta's lad for John Upsom to have come back after a devastating season through the virus. But once again, we see here, run for free, jumps this one well, and he runs straight afterwards for some considerable time, but then it surely happens. But just look now as you see Jadami close up, and remember, he's giving weight to the rest. Run for free only does this when he gets under pressure, and they haven't uh, really taken him on until now and as soon as Mark's gone for him uh, he's starting to go left as soon as he really picks him up sometimes under real pressure he will do that sooner than that but once he gets to the rail he runs on uh, straight Mark will uh, pull his stick through now he's got him on the rail he can't go any further left-handed and he drives him out the line but what a great race uh, it is Zeta's lad there in the blue chasing him all the way to the line and, and there is a Jadami and uh, must be a worthy favorite for the Gold Cup now well, it's very close indeed, but it looks from that angle as if...